What's going on guys? So you're from the Bay Area and you've decided I'm out of here. I'm going to Sacramento. Well, let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure you got that notification bell dinged because we got new videos coming out for you every single week. So a lot of our clients right now are getting out of the city, moving from San Francisco, moving from the Bay, and getting over here to Sacramento or some of the metro area. And so we decided to do an update video because a lot of things have changed since the first one we did about two years ago. So let's go ahead and get into that. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna explore both regions. We're gonna be kind of looking at some of the uh, different benefits they both have, some of the unique qualities that they have, and also some of the uh, different features that both regions have. So first things first, let's start with school rating. What I find in the Bay Area uh, is a lot of people have uh, their kids either going to private schools or very select public schools. Now the public schools that I've seen out there, I've uh, gone to uh, greatschools.org and checked out, either it's a hit or miss, right? Either you've got a great elementary or you've got a great high school, but then the elementary sucks or the high school sucks, right? Vice versa. Or you just got, you're sending your kid to a private school um, to get the best education and that's just heavy on the pocketbook. So I will say coming out to the Sacramento area, that's probably one of the best things especially if you're in like that Elk Grove, Roseville, Rockland, uh, Folsom, El Dorado area, pretty straightforward uh, from grade school all the way through high school. Most of these places have a B or A rating. When you do get into Sacramento itself, there is gonna be some change up, but I will still say for the most part, we still have some pretty good schools. There, there's a couple little pockets that are, they're still working on, but like I say, I, I think we really do rate pretty dang high on the uh, scale, especially when you're looking from Bay Area to Sacramento. Other thing too that I've noticed is for the most part, our classroom size is smaller compared to uh, the Bay Area. So your student is going to get some better attention from their actual teacher. And I've seen the after school programs in both areas. I'm sorry, but Sacramento wins that all day long. Anything and everything that you can think of for an after school program, whether your kids are having trouble with math, reading, arithmetic, whatever it is, or if they're just looking to just hang out and make some new friends, they've got a club set up for that. Um, and these things are ran by the students, ran by the teachers, and even some of the kids' parents that are coming in to help out. All right, now number two is, I'm gonna say the uh, attractions. Now, I'll give it up, okay? You got the Bay Bridge out there in San Francisco. You've got some great museums out there. You've got an abundance of different types of landmarks that are just kind of cool to go out there and see. But I will say Sacramento, uh, even though we have more of a laid back uh, vibe, we definitely have some stuff out here. We've got museums. We've got uh, the railroad stations. We've got the Old Town Sacramento. You've got the zoo. Um, we've got Crocker Museum. So a lot of different things. Oh, and we got this, the Capitol. I mean, how can you, can you argue with that? We've got the Capitol right here. So you do definitely have a lot of iconic spots to visit in Sacramento, one of the things that we like to do with our kids is during the summertime especially is going to visit some of the missions out there, hit the uh, railroad station and actually see some of these old trains, walk through them and just learn about the history of the train, the railroad and uh, how it got started and how it helps out in li everyday life. The other cool thing that uh, I see from both of them is look, San Francisco's got some cool trails to walk on. Uh, you also have some uh, cool parks out there, but you also have some pretty ran down areas. Um, and uh, personally speaking, some of the places that I used to visit as a kid, I've gone back to take my kids and I, I wouldn't even actually take the kids any there anymore. Where Sacramento, look, we've got a great outdoor lifestyle. Uh, one, you got the American River Parkway. We have over 200 parks, okay? And, and that's just at today's filming. We've actually got more coming in. They're building them all the time. But we've got 200 parks and these are not small parks. These things are huge. 
These things are hundreds of acres uh, at times. And then we've also got the small parks, but 200 parks in Sacramento. And we're just in proximity to South Lake Tahoe, North Lake Tahoe, Reno, the uh, Sierra Nevada mountains. I mean, you've got a lot to do, especially when it comes to that outdoor activity and just enjoying nature in its all. All right, now let's get to another one. My favorite one, food. So me and my wife used to go to San Francisco all the time for just the food. I mean, I will give that to you guys. You walk down an alley and you walk into a restaurant and it may be the best meal that you've ever had, unexpected. And that is one thing that is really cool about San Francisco is the variety of food that you guys have over there. But that being said, Sacramento is picking up pretty good. One. We now have some Michelin star guys that have moved out in the area and earned Michelin stars. We've got a huge diverse scene of different foods, whether you're from Elk Grove all the way through to Roseville, you can pretty much find whatever you want and you can find multiple places. So if you're going to a faux joint and you're not exactly sure of that broth, you just go a couple blocks a different direction and you're gonna find one that you're actually gonna enjoy. We have this really cool thing, especially because of where our region is, is we have this whole farm to fork thing going on. Basically, this whole jive is that we're taking that food from the farm and literally it's going into the restaurant and onto your plate, sometimes the same day, other times within days. So the food quality uh, of our produce is I would probably say better than most. If I go out to San Francisco, in all honesty, you guys are probably getting that shipped in. You're not really having any farms out there um, unless you're going up maybe to Napa area. So I will give it to our farm to fork is probably one of the best in California, if not the nation. All right, so one of the other things is I'm gonna talk about shopping. So shopping wise, San Francisco, you guys got anything and everything. One of the things that I've noticed about San Francisco is it used to all be, and I might be saying this wrong, everything used to be on market. Now, uh, you've got little pockets all over the city. So depending on what you're going for, whether it's school clothes, night out, whatever, you're, you're going to different sections of the city to actually find uh, what you want. Where it used to be, I feel like we could just walk down that main drive and pretty much grab anything and everything that we needed, whether I needed something, a family member needed something, uh, or we needed a gift, right? But now you really got to go to a lot of specialty shops to find it, and I will still give it to you guys. You guys got some of the best shopping out there. But Sacramento, we've got those boutique shops spread throughout Sacramento now. And then if you want any major shopping, you're gonna hit up the Galleria Mall in Roseville. I don't care if you're in Elk Grove, Sacramento, Folsom, you hit up that uh, uh, Westfield Mall and you're pretty much gonna find anything from your Nordstrom's to your Louis. Uh, and then if you want, you can go to Folsom, hit up the outlets. They got the Nike outlet there, they got Boss. Uh, pretty much anything that you get your heart desires out in uh, Folsom. So you got two really major shopping areas. And one of the things I'll say about Westfield, uh, the Galleria Mall in Roseville, they continue to build and impress me. Most malls in America, you're seeing them get smaller, you're, you're seeing them close down shops. Uh, Westfield and Ro Roseville Galleria, by far one of the best shopping experiences that you can find. One of the biggest reasons I would say I'm seeing a lot of people come out to the area or why we are so different is of course, the price point, right? You get into San Francisco, you get to the Bay Area, you're looking at, I believe, an average price point of 1.5 to $2 million. You're not getting much of a house out there. Quality of life to that also, I kind of mix that in with the price point, um, it is not gonna be that great depending on your price point of your house, where if you come to the Sacramento area, the metro area of Sacramento, we've got a ton of houses. Average price point in Sacramento, uh, it's gonna be about 400. I would probably say if you take Sacramento as a whole, you're really closer to about 550, 600, um, and you can really get a nice spread. You're, you're getting a three to four bedroom, uh, you're getting a two to three bath on that, decent size lot with some sort of a backyard. Uh, you're gonna get great schools with that, of course. Uh, you're gonna get great neighborhoods and people that you can really see take care of their area, take care of their homes. Uh, just a lot of pride out here. 
And then of course, we can't beat you on this one, but sports. You guys got the Warriors, you guys got the Niners, and you guys got the Giants. So by far, outbeat us on the sports scene. Uh, won't forget you A's fans out there, but you guys got a ton of sports. Oh, don't forget San Jose Sharks. Do still love watching you guys. But that is actually changing. So at the time of this feeling, I mean, at least, uh, the Kings are on a rampage. We're lighting that purple light, I would say, every other night right now. So that's one of the cool things is we do have the professional basketball team. Um, we also have the River Cats that is feeding the San Francisco Giants for players. So it's kind of cool to see some of these guys develop uh, and get into the big leagues over there. We do have a professional soccer team out here as well. They are getting more and more known as they win more and more tournaments um, and they get more and more funding. The stadium, I think I've been talking about this for about a year now. Uh, they have broken ground. They are still building this thing, but I believe they're going through a couple changes on how they're actually gonna build out the stadium. Uh, so it's a little bit on hold for, uh, for that, but they'll have their professional stadium here pretty soon. I'm hoping that someday, some way, we'll get a professional football team. I don't see it in the cards at this point, but we have plenty of sports for you guys here to enjoy. And if you really, really need to, you can head to San Francisco game uh, or you can head to an Oakland A's game pretty quickly. Uh, even, even getting into San Francisco, me and my wife just drove it the other day to go to a quick event and it took us about uh, an hour and a half. If you're getting into the actual city to say, see the Giants, it's gonna take you about two hours to get there. But it's not a bad drive, especially the way that um, you loop in from the 80. It's a pretty nice uh, shot. Also, not too far from Napa from that point. And then last but not least, I'm gonna hit the weather. Look, San Francisco, you've got some cool, windy weather out here. Gotta give it up to 250 days of summer. Yes, we do get hot with that, but for the most part, I love it. Um, we've got our lake life out here, so if you got a boat or you just go to the lake shore, um, you're gonna definitely love that. And depending on which city you're actually in, there are a ton of community pools. Plus our backyards are big enough, so most people have a pool in the area anyways. So that's it, guys. That is my Bay Area versus Sacramento. As you can see, there's a lot of reasons why people are moving out to the actual Sacramento area. Uh, what it really all comes down to at the end of the day, honestly, is going to be the quality of life that you get out here. I'm not saying you can't get a great quality of life in San Francisco, but if you want to get to an area where you've got some room to move, you've got some great schools, you've got some great community, uh, you definitely gotta check out Sacramento. So hopefully you guys got everything you needed. If you need more, hit me up in the comment section, set up that 15 minute Zoom, throw me a text message, whatever works, we are here for you. Deborah and I would love to help you guys get into that next dream home. We'll see you on the next video.